Welcome to the What's Happening Birmingham video podcast. This podcast is brought to you by the Jefferson County Department of Health. We're all tired. COVID fatigue is real, but we can't quit now. Until a vaccine is available during this cold and flu season, it's more important than ever for everyone to practice the three W's. Wash your hands, wear a mask, and watch your distance. Stay at least six feet from people outside of your household. Most important, if you feel sick, stay home. This holiday season, let's spread joy, not COVID-19. A message from the Jefferson County Department of Health. Hello, everyone. This is Jarvis S. Scott with What's Happening Birmingham. Today, I have the honor and pleasure with my good friend, Brother Clarence Muhammad. Mr. Muhammad, thanks for coming on today. Hey, man. Thanks for having me, Jarvis, with What's Happening. Great, great, great. I want to bring Brother Clarence on to talk about this upcoming event that he's hosting. It's called Day of Emotion slash Unity, December 26th. And it's presented by the Birmingham Kwanzaa Committee. So, Brother Clarence, tell people about this event real quick. Well, first of all, I got to tell you about what Kwanzaa is. Kwanzaa is a cultural, what's termed a cultural national uh, holiday or celebration. Um, it was founded in 1966, most notably by a man by the name of Milana, which is a title which means teacher, Ron Karinga, on the West Coast with an organization called United Slaves of Us and Others. So there are going to be some other names that people are credited to. But basically, it goes into seven principles that come from an agrarian culture. In other words, that, that in our culture in Africa, we're connected to the land, agricultural expression or agriculture. And so there are seven basic principles. The first principle is a moja, which is unity, which we'll be celebrating that day. The second one is self-determination, kujajakalia. The third one is ujama, which is collective work and responsibility. The fourth one is uh, ujima. I'm sorry, fourth one, the third one is, the third one, I'm sorry, is ujima, which is collective work and responsibility. The fourth one, is Ujima, which is cooperative economics. The fifth one is Neo, which is purpose. The sixth one is Kaumba, which is creativity. And the seventh one is Amani, which is faith. Um, it's been celebrated since 1966, all over America and in other parts of the world, uh, what we call the turn of diaspora with black people in different parts of the world. Uh, and in Alabama, the Birmingham Kwanzaa Committee has been celebrating it for 40 years. And I've had the privilege and the honor about the last 10 years of being one of the lead co-chairs for the event. And we organize it all throughout the greater Birmingham area. And we just allow our people, African-Americans or Black or Nubians or whatever you like to call it, people of color, a chance to gather and reflect on our culture, our heritage, and our history. Okay, so kind of take me inside a little bit more of the event. What goes on? Because it's from... Two to five that day, correct? Right, right. Well, two o'clock, the doors are open. At 2.30, what happens, the person that's hosting the Kwanzaa side, of course, we do a community side as well, will explain what the principles of Kwanzaa are. There's, um, which I don't have it in, in hand, but there's like a, a unity cup or a moja cup where in certain settings, of course, not now with COVID-19, you would share and drink water from it and pour what they call libations in honor of those who have went before us and the ancestors. There's a canal, which are basically the whole seven candles which represent the seven principles of quantum. There's a fruit, which represents the feast, the fruits of harvest, which will be on that table. There's a mat, which represents the foundation, that our foundation is our culture and our, and our history. Uh, there are corn, and at each gathering, if it's, it's in your home, you'll have a corn per child and one extra. And the extra corn represents the community child that you always look out for the community child. Uh, there's the red, black, and green flag, which comes from the Honorable Marcus Mosiah Garvey, which started the uh, Universal Negro Improvement Association, which is red, black, and green, but the ours is a little different. Red stands for blood is shed, black for the people, and green for the land. But we have the red, the smallest part of the flag because we want to minimize on shedding of blood. 
And it's just a time we gather together at the end of it. Uh, we have like a community speaker or panels and they discuss issues that are relevant centered around the principal, which of course will be what's going on on the first day, which is at Club M521, Third Avenue West from two to five. And then some of those days we have vendors. Now this year is different as you know, Jarvis, because COVID-19, we've had to institute COVID-19 protocols into our event which means that we're asking people to go on the Birmingham Kwanzaa Committee, or Bur excuse me, Birmingham Kwanzaa page and register or email us, which you'll find on that flyer, which you'll be shooting out to them or call on that flyer and register because we only, we'll be only at 33% capacity, which will allow for social distancing. We're also enforcing that people wear masks and we're also requiring that people do a temperature check so that everybody that walks into the building is healthy and uh, food will only be sold by people that are restaurants and caterers. We won't do any sharing of food or potluck because we don't want any liability on anybody. <laughs> yeah, no potluck this year, but that's normally what we do. Everybody is about sharing and sharing the experience. But because of COVID-19, we've had to institute that protocol. And the second day, we'll have an Ansley, with, which a flyer we'll send out and you'll be able to share and that'll be the answer. That'll be about 33% capacity. Only about 50 people can come in. And the, the third, the fourth, the fifth, and the sixth day will be virtual. You'll be able to go on the Birmingham Kwanzaa Facebook page and watch it each and every day, whether you're able to come the days that we do have it available or not, you'll be able to watch it uh, virtually. So for those that may have underlying conditions, we want it to be uh, friendly to uh, the community and make sure that people are safe and feel safe and comfortable. Okay, and what's the? If you don't mind me asking, what's the what's the cost for the? Oh, well, it's an absolutely free event, and we thank those um, event places that will host us for free. They donate the space and they're partners with us, like the Motley family at Club M. This is second year hosting us, and they're okay. making it available and free to the free to the community. And even with vending, those few vendors that are able to come, you know. So some of the hosts you got, you got Jacqueline Jackson Ali, Alyssa Knox, Taryn Brazel. So tell me a little bit about those folks from the Sure. sure. Alicia, Alicia Knox has an organization called Leaders of Excellence. Mm -hmm. And what that organization does is they go into community schools in our community in Birmingham and Midfield and other places, and they mentor mm -hmm. the youth. And she has programs set aside. And so what we like to do is spotlight these organizations that are doing a great work where they can get volunteers or get support or find other opportunities to share their services. Uh, we have Ms. Torin Brazil, which is, I mean, just a brilliant woman with her uh, Ignite Alabama that uh, supports businesses, that gives counseling and supportive services to business and nonprofits so they can expand their services and be a better reflection of what they need to be. Uh, you have Jacqueline Ali, which is a community gardener, community farmer, and she uh, grows healthy food to, uh, you know, reduce the food desert in, uh, in our community. Okay. So where do they go to purchase these tickets? Specific website. No, uh, you can go to Birmingham Kwanzaa and you, res you reserve it on um, Birmingham Kwanzaa. I'm gonna look at that flyer right quick. So I make sure. Yeah, you go to Birmingham Kwanzaa Facebook page and there's an event page there and you just RSVP or you can call me at 205-356-647, either call or text me and RSVP and um, make sure that you have a seat available because we wanna make sure that folks are able to enjoy it and feel safe. Okay. I'm make sure I'm writing that down right now, Birmingham Corns. It's real simple so people okay. can remember it. All right, well, Brother Clarence, thank you for coming on today. You thank you so much. This event is day after Christmas. So the day, the day after Christmas and another FYI, this is not a holiday that is in competition with Christmas. We've got people that celebrate Christmas and 
whatever type of other holidays that we celebrate in the African-American experience, this is purely a celebration of our rich heritage and culture. So feel free to come. And, and also on that day, uh, Jarvis, we'll be giving away books to the youth. I think we'll have about 400 books, as I know of right now, to give away to our youth. And so bring your children out or, or take some and give to you because we'll be giving away youth books to encourage our youth to read their, their history and their culture. All right. Well, uh, Brother Clarence, thank you for coming on today. You all, thank please you. check out this event. Um, please check out what's happening Birmingham.com for more interviews. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you all again and have a great day. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you for watching the What's Happening Birmingham video podcast. Please check out our website, app, or subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest videos today.